Greetings from Panama. It's Janine and Paul, Hota Nueve Paulo. We've made our way from Colorado to Fort Lauderdale for three nights in Panama City to two nights in Santiago where we are thrilled to rediscover one of the first restaurants we ever discovered on our first trip to Panama. This is Daytona Restaurante and it is owned by a gentleman who used to be a sailor. And this restaurant reminds me so much of my father and of growing up with my father. Everything about it is nautical. There's an old boat propeller here. Not that sailors need that, but this gentleman has been involved in quite a wide variety of maritime activity. And the restaurant is designed to reflect that. I'm just walking up the entryway. It's quite lovely. The little fences are just made with, I don't know how well you can see it, but these are ropes, nautical ropes. Difficult to see in the dark. Maybe you can see a little better that way. The nautical ropes making up the fence. As you come up towards the restaurant, there's a lovely outdoor patio area. You know you're in Panama because there's palm trees and it just feels like Panama. But the gentleman who owns the place looks like a cross between my father, George Thomas Fugere, and also a little bit like a dear neighbor of Paul's and mine in Colorado, Billy O'Donnell. This fella is the old salt of the sea and now he's the owner and head chef of this restaurant, Daytona Restaurante. I'm just going to walk up into the entry and rejoin Paul. I'm going to put my mask on to comply with local COVID laws. One of the things we love about Panama is they still understand it's important. Here's the beautiful outdoor patio dining. And here's the lovely entryway. Soon I'll join Paul at our table. There's Polly. And here's a couple of things I just cannot wait to show you that made me absolutely know we had landed in a special place. When I came here and I saw that this gentleman had samples of hand tied sailing and nautical knots and actually some hardware from sailboats with little brass name tags for each one. This was obviously very lovingly created by someone who cared a lot about both his career and his craft is a catch of the day sign and I'm just going to move on forward because everything in here is nautical. There are beautiful, beautiful nautical symbols just about everywhere you look. Sailboat models. Lighthouses, a very important symbol for both my parents and for Paul and me. I know. It's okay. Y ese es la una que mi padre hacer cuando yo fui niña. I'm explaining to the people at this table, these are like what my father used to make when I was a little girl. Es muy importante. Yo pienso es como mi papá es aquí. Gracias, gracias. Tiene un gran noche. Oh, another lighthouse. And one more set showing all the different nautical flags, the International Code of Signals. God, my father would have loved this restaurant. Daddy, please enjoy. Mommy, I know it would be important to you too, but this was actually the Mayflower. These are the nautical symbols used during the time of the Mayflower. What an incredible creation. That's the hall. Information. We just absolutely adore it here. In the back there is our friend the chef. That is the gentleman that prepared all these beautiful nautical designs and we're just honored to be here at his restaurant. He's rolling out a handmade pizza dough and I'm waiting for fresh seafood. So 
we'll say ciao for now from Panama. I'm going to go rejoin Paul as I continue to take in all these beautiful, beautiful and nautical artifacts. I love it here. I just love it that we've finally been able to come back to an owner day, St. John's. Call up to Panama, so just different life preserver rings from different ships, either that the fellow served on or just that he's collected. And then the most important thing of all in the whole restaurant, Polly's here. I'm so excited we're going to have a nice dinner together. I love you, Paul. Welcome back to Daytona Restaurante. We found it. Ciao for now from Panama. Ciao.